did your parents reveal a secret to you once you reached adulthood? If so, what was it? When I was a kid, my dad accidentally killed a raccoon with his car. It had a young one with it that wasn't hit. So we adopted the baby raccoon. We adored it, but we were not at all equipped to care for it. There was no lock or cage that could stop this thing. It was very clever, strong and curious. It got into cupboards and ate food and trash. And we'd find its shit in the most random places. One day my dad sat me down and told me that my raccoon had gone to live on a farm. I was old enough to know what that meant. And I was heartbroken. Just a few years ago I was telling this story to my husband and my dad interrupted me and said that he literally actually gave my raccoon away to a work acquaintance of his that had a farm and a lot of wooded property. It had become so accustomed to humans it constantly broke into the man's house and ate his food and got enormously fat and lived a long honorary raccoon life. Most of my college was paid by someone named Tony Random due to me. I know you're all thinking that it was some sort of lover child thing. But it turns out my grandfather was a bookie and Tony was always just a bad gambler. So instead of my grandpa having his knees capped, he made a deal Tony would pay for college. That college fund that they were always talking about had 148.74 in it. My college fund was given to my aunt because she was going through a hard time and would definitely pay it back. It's been 20 years. I guess we just gave her thousands of dollars. Yeah no. For funsters. Edit for all the people advising me not to lend money to family. I know. Lord. Do I know. But sadly. I was 10 at the time. Thanks for the concern. But I wasn't the one that gave it away. I worked at a bank. It was heartbreaking to see parents. Withdrawing money on a weekly basis from their child's college fund or the kid's own savings account. Week before little kid comes in with dad. Kid brings his piggy bank for us to run through the coin counter. Kid is happy he saved up almost 20. We open up a savings account for him. He is saving up for a news box. Next week dad isn't taking that money out to go next door and buy alcohol and cigarettes. It was sad to see. When I turned 18 I got a letter from a distant aunt and uncle wishing me a happy birthday. I hadn't seen them since I was a baby, but there's hundreds of pictures of them and me together when I was a baby. They used to babysit me a lot and take me on vacations with them. My mom told me they used me to smuggle things. I guess they said it was super easy to smuggle just about anything with a baby. At one point literally hiding cocaine in my diaper. My grandfather was a small business owner, who everyone always thought of as extremely frugal due to growing up poor. Later we found out he spent a significant amount of money on charitable causes and helped a lot of his employees with financial and in one case legal trouble. Positive secret. But it was definitely a secret. That secret was revealed to me not when I reached adulthood, but when my father passed away. When I was a baby, I had a baby doll which I loved. I still have that doll now that I'm 28 why? Oh. One day. A month about after my father's death, my mother told me that he had bought me three same baby dolls, and when the one I was using had gotten damaged, he secretly replaced her with a new one. He kept that secret as a present for the day of my wedding, along with all the baby dolls I had used all those years. He didn't make it to reveal it to me himself. When I was a kid, I used to be friends with the next door woman, who was about 20 years old. To me she was a best friend, because she would read to me, or play with me, or take me to walks. One morning I woke up, and her dad was at my house, and gave me a painting she made. Then my parents told me my friend had to move to another city for work, and she left me the painting to remember her. Sometime later we moved to another city, but returned years after, when my dad died. I found the dad and sister were living there still. There I knew the truth. My friend had died on a car accident back then. But they decided to lie to me because they didn't want to hurt me. I still have the painting and I'm close to her sister, who is the only one left. When I turned 18 my dad told me how he'd spent the better part of 10 years as a drug smuggler, mostly cocaine and weed, that they would get in South America, put on small planes, to land somewhere in the Caribbean, and then move to Florida on super fast boats they'd only run at night. 
He didn't tell me all the insane stories I'm sure he had, but he did tell me about being stuck in a bar in Colombia for an entire day during an attempted coup, and how more than once they traded guns they stole to the FARC for cocaine. This was all especially crazy since to me, he was pretty much the most straight-laced dude alive. My great uncle dad's uncle left me a large sum of money in trust that I was to receive at either age 25, graduated from college, or was honorably discharged from military service he retired from military, whichever came first. I had no idea and I'm glad I didn't. I joined the military right out of high school and when I had my DD-214 in hand, my parents took me to a lawyer who laid it all out. Wow. Because of the enhanced GI Bill. I didn't have to touch a cent of it for tuition. I did use it to buy a house though. I miss my great uncle as much for his wisdom as his company. My mom met my dad in the military. I learned she joined the military to escape her town. Her best friend had killed himself and she dropped out of school. She started hanging out with his dad a lot and he convinced her to go back to high school and graduate. They became really close and his wife learned about it. At her graduation the wife finally met my mom and told her she was going to kill her for messing around with her husband. So my mom joined the military and didn't tell anyone until a couple years later after she had met my dad and had me. I learned all this when I was like 25. I don't even know if my dad knew the whole story as they had never brought it up. When I was 18 my mom told me how my dad cheated on her with this woman named Kathy. I actually remembered Kathy when I was kid because my dad would take my brother and I to her house. She would buy us computer games and stuff, so we loved her at the time. I never understood why my mom hated her until I was older. Kathy ended up marrying my dad's best friend. As an adult I was never nice to her and my dad would give me shit about it. I finally told him that I knew about her and that mom had told me everything. He just said oh, alright then. He never gave me shit again. It was less at adulthood and more my grandpa died and we just found out his brother's secret. I asked my parents if we should tell my grandpa's brothers that he was dying and they got kind of awkward. I wasn't sure why. Considering this great uncle was in my life a good bit and was always nice and kind. It turns out. His oldest daughter, who had died a few months prior, had children fathered by my uncle. He had been molesting her the entire time she was a teenager. I'm unsure how she died, but as far as I know, she took that secret to her grave. I'm glad my grandparents are both deceased and never have to find out about that. We did not tell him my grandpa was passing, nor did we invite him to the funeral that my father was married before he met my mother and had a daughter. I do not and may never know the full story. My mother knows parts of it but won't tell me much and just refers me to my father when I ask more about it. My father gets damn hysterical about it. I just don't know how much is true or embellished. Basically, my father moved away from his dysfunctional poor family in Florida to Texas where he had a job lined up. He was out on his own and finally making money. Thought not much. I don't know how he met this woman. But they did get together and got married within a short time. She was quick to move in and share everything with him. She got pregnant and my presumed sister was born. My father loved her. In fact, I recently I found pictures of the two of them together. And he was definitely happy. Then something happened. From his rantings. She took almost everything he earned ran up a lot of credit, etc. When he called attention to it, her family started threatening him. To quote him, they were the type of people who would show up to your work causing trouble and destroy your car as they left just because they didn't like you. Now, by this time his daughter was almost 3 years old. And besides these supposed events, they had been living happily the entire time. Surprisingly, it was the woman who started the divorce. Her family had money, and my father who was alone did not, and they went hard on him in false accusations. My father was still fighting though, but when it looked like he might win, they claimed that his daughter was not his, and how the woman had always been sleeping with some other man. It was apparently convincing enough that my father believes that to be true to this day. I don't think there was ever a paternity test, but he apparently signed away any claim to be her father.
and he wasn't ordered to pay any child support. According to my mother, his supposed daughter would show up at our house apartment alone occasionally, trying to talk with my father. Even once on my 9th birthday though I don't remember her. However, that strikes me as a little odd, as she couldn't be more than 12 years old at the time. Someone would have had to know where we lived and driven her there. The first time I heard about any of this was when I was 24 years old and had just gone with my father to have our wills and other important documents updated. That is when he told me that if he died, someone may come claiming to be his daughter, but that it wasn't true, and instructed me on how to properly defend his estate from such an event. He wouldn't give me any details though, and I just dropped it. Then, about a year ago, the supposed daughter found and contacted me on Facebook. I didn't respond at first, because I thought it was some junk friend request, but they also contacted my mother, who verified that it was who they said they were. So, yeah, I had a short conversation with her through messenger. She sounded honest enough, but I was cautious skeptical. That is when I brought it up to my father, who got hysterical and told me the rest of what I've relayed here. We are still friends on Facebook, but we kind of have an understanding that we may or may not be brother and sister. The only way we would know for sure is to have a sibling paternity test, which could let us know within a reasonable probability but not for certain, unless my father participated too, and we pretty much decided that we couldn't put him through that as he seems to be very traumatized by whatever happened back then. She is a mother and has a caring family now though, supposedly. Her mother remarried, then something happened to her mother and is no longer in her life. Her stepfather took her in, and she hasn't had any contact with her biological family. I suppose that is part of the reason why she wanted to get to know my father. He is the only one she knows that could be her biological father. When I was in my 20s my mom revealed that my uncle who was an ordained minister and my dad's older brother helped arrange for my dad to get a sham marriage with another woman so he could get his green card prior to his relationship with my mom. It was a mildly mind-blowing revelation for me at the time. It's actually common knowledge in Southeast Asia. My friend's family was broken because of this. They were a happy family, but then they wanted to go to America to chase the American dream. The dad went first, married to a sham woman, but then actually fell in love with her. When my friend and her mother came to the US, they separated. My poor friend fell into depression and drugs. Things are better now though, and we communicate frequently. I just wish her all the best. Several years ago my dad dropped the truth bomb that he didn't think I was his kid when I was born. My mum had an affair and he thought I was an illicit lover child. As soon as I started growing, he could see a lot of himself in my features so eventually brushed it off. But like, gee thanks dad, not sure I needed to know that. I had something similar-ish happen. I took a DNA test and none of my results matched up with anyone in the family and my mom had apparently been seeing an old friend around that time. Honestly it caused more of an identity crisis in me than anything, because my mom was not the nicest person. But I'm slowly coming to terms with it. Not an adult, but my mom died giving birth to me. But I just found out a few months ago that I had a twin sister that died during childbirth to a she wasn't really strong enough to survive. I think I stole all the good stuff inside. It would be cool having a mom and a twin sister, but the world had different plans I guess. Around when I was 14, my dad sat me and my brother down and revealed that we had an older half-sister. I thought he was joking at first, but essentially before him and my mum got together he had a relationship and when he broke up with her she moved away and blocked all contact. This wasn't waiting until we were old enough though. My half-sister messaged him through Facebook and revealed she was his child. So just conveniently timed and a massive shock for him. Even more so, he had a grandchild age 2 from her. Are you all close now? Or is it super awkward? Or both? She still lives pretty far away. I've speak to her off and on over social media, but I've never met her in real life. She was mainly just interested in what our lives are like, and I think just wanted to learn about some family she never had before. It was harder for my older brother, because he got to 18 having an eldest child complex and it hit him the wrong way. 
that I had a much older half-sister. Apparently my father had got some girl knocked up in high school. Her parents didn't like him and thought they were too young to raise a kid. So they just packed up and moved. He knew she existed but never tried to locate her and just moved on with his life. After I was in college, the sister had contacted him and they got together. Well nobody bothered to mention this fact to me until I come home from college for Thanksgiving and this strange woman is sitting at the table and my dad says, meet your sister. Near adulthood. My dad left when I was 10 but took the kids on weekends etc and very soon afterwards was dating a woman seriously. By my teen years I had kinda sorta worked out that he had probably been seeing her before he left, meaning he cheated on my mom. But I rationalized it that the marriage failed and hey, he actually was in a relationship with that woman 4 years afterward, so it wasn't a cheap fling. Then in my late teens mom told a story about the summer when they were still married, when dad was sent on a 6 week training seminar in another city. She paused, uncertain if she should add this tidbit, then mentioned she had been told by one of his co-workers that he dated a woman there for that whole 6 weeks. Too long didn't read found out dad had a pattern of cheating on my mom. Not just the once. Similar situation. My mom. My brothers and I would take week long trips down the shore a lot during our summers. But my dad never came with us. His excuse was that he had to work. Turns out he was renting those beach houses for us, so he could have our house to himself with his mistress. My grandfather my mom's dad was the one who discovered it when he stopped by, forgetting we wouldn't be home. That woman is now his second wife and I have another brother that has no idea why the rest of us don't like his mom. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.